Hello. Welcome back. When we left off, Dip had finished using this stupid butt computer, as he said. My eye was itchy there. Alright. And now, let us go back and see what sort of... Oh, wait. Yeah. And he also is going to agree to have a meeting with Agent Dark Booty about the White Building. He's obviously awake, but he's not acknowledging me. I think he's pretending to still be asleep, so I'll leave him alone. I'll leave him alone, then. That was a joke. Huh. Fat chance. I think you actually do have to bother him. Yeah, my laptop's still screwed. I had so much research on this thing. I'm, I'm just hoping that this actually shows up, because the last things in the past haven't. You broke my computer. He looks upset. Maybe I'll get an apology. Zim, the computer was our only tool, and you broke it, just because you can't keep your grubby little hands off my stuff. Wait for a response. Go on and on. Have you just made it your personal goal in life to make me suffer? You just take and take and take. I mean, you just show up at my house, just show up, and expect me to drop what I'm doing to help out a jerk who's never helped me. Yeah, you better hang your head in shame. Uh, did you say something? You threw up on my shoes. Oh, I guess I... He's covering his mouth. Well, I'm out. Okay, so note how the vomit is blue. Now, fun fact, that Windex that we drank, in, that we drank, I said drank, drank in the last video, made the vomit turn that color. Apparently, you can test this out yourself. I mean, I've done it before. If you don't drink the Windex, <laughs> it is green. So, uh, that's nice. <laughs> Maybe I can wash some of this off. Oh, yuck. Tell Zim about meeting tomorrow. Zim, I'm meeting with the swollen eyeballs tomorrow. You won't get me alive. Relax. It's about General Lax. Another agent claims to be familiar with them. If you misbehave, though. <laughs> You're more used to me alive. I see. Alright. Now what? I guess there's not a lot to do here, but regroup and wait for tomorrow. Are you going to clean this? He doesn't really look hardy enough to get up off the bed. You know what? I'll just get another room. Magical room change. Well, I had to talk to the slow lady again, and now I'm paying $200 a night for no reason. You owe me, Zim. Besides, I don't think he's lucid. I'm not sure he's ever lucid, but you know what I mean. I think i better turn in for the night. It's been a long, stupid day. I talk to him anymore. Off the candy. You don't want this, do you? Uh, he doesn't want it. You got it for no reason, did. No, Mint. This hotel is stupid. I am so glad this stupid day is over. Dib really likes that word. What was that? It's Zim. He's infiltrated my room. Oh, no. I'm in this stupid hotel. See what I mean? And Zim is making a lot of weird noises. Investigate. I'll just stay back out of barking range. He's thrashing and yelping. He's acting out a nightmare. Zim must have REM sleep behavior disorder, preventing him from being paralyzed during dreams. Zim probably has more than one behavior disorder. Zim apparently doesn't need to sleep when he's healthy, so I've never had a chance to observe this behavior before. He's in acute stress. Should I wake him up? Let's see, are you even supposed to wake someone who's having a bad dream? He's thrashing violently and may injure himself if he hits the headboard, but if I try to wake him up, he'll probably hit me. Oh, but you see, I didn't go in there to destroy you. I didn't know you were there. I had to stop the experiment. Well, that's creepy, but it probably doesn't mean anything. He's feverish and dreaming. But then, why was he so squirrely when I asked him about this kind of thing? Zim, wake up. Let go of my arm. I told you, I told you not to go in there. He collapses into a pallid, sweaty heap. Ugh. Dip? Where am I? The hotel? I wasn't here a minute ago. You were dreaming. Oh. 
He throws his arm over his face, gasping for air. I feel a strange awkwardness. I think it's pity. Pity for a homicidal space monster. That's really embarrassing. I'm glad Gaz isn't here. Sorry, I was just thinking about how he doesn't want Gaz to see his emotions. It's kind of sad. Welp, there's not a lot to do now but get ready for that swollen eyeball meeting. And I forgot to pack a toothbrush, so there's not a whole lot of getting ready to do. I should maybe just go. Maybe. I should tell Zim and leave. Zim, uh, hey, I'm going out for a little bit. I'll be back soon, okay? Mm hmm I'm magically transporting here. I have ultra superpowers. Do 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 do. Mothman, this agent wishes to speak with you. Mothman, I notice an odd odor coming from your shoes. It's. Come back, stretch try steel origin. I see. I think every single time you talk to him, he says it, and every single one is the same answer, so. Oh, crud. I think I know her. Agent Mothman. Agent Fishsticks? I see you're acquainted. Uh. Sorta. We worked the Mascara case together. Sir, why did you assign Agent Mothman to this case? I didn't assign him. The General Laboratory Corporation is located two miles from his house. How did you discover what they were doing? An anonymous source. I'll need to speak with him. That's a really bad idea. Why? My source is... Any one of these. I can't tell them that. All of the above. Guess the same answer. I need to vet your source, or I won't say anything to you. I need to see the source. In person. Okay, okay. I'll be back in an hour. No one knows how hard it is you need. No one. And you need to come over here. And you need to get a fabulous disguise. Yeah, what do you want? Bandages. Sunglasses. A trench coat. Yeah, it's nothing like Dib's coat. This one sucks. Fedora. It's plastic. <laughs> and you don't have to get anything else. Worthless. Worthless and overpriced. Okay. As far as I know, like, Dib never actually loses health. So I don't think you actually need these. But you can buy them if you want to, you know, spend all of his 145 pieces of gold, apparently. The tacky stuff combines to make a crappy disguise. It's good enough for Zim. Burn. Especially since I might turn on him at any time during the meeting. Wow, Dib. Heartless. Politely explain the situation. Smack him. Zim, get up. We're taking a trip. What? Where? What are you talking about? What do you want to do to me? Get away! I have a contact who will give me valuable information about General Labs, but only if she talks to the guy who told me about it. That's you. I got you disguised. Put it on. I'm not falling for that. You want to drag me into the FBI? Oh, now his guard is up. Be understanding. No. <laughs> he's been so sick. I think he only just now realized he's sharing a room with me. What are those bandages for? This is a part of your disguise. You were in a car accident. Your face was badly burned, and now it's all bandaged up. That didn't happen. It's a lie, Zim. I know you know what a lie is. Oh. Now put these on. <laughs> the bandages are itchy, and I can't breathe. This is a terrible disguise. Shh. It's okay. No, it's... Shh. <laughs> Dib. Shh. <laughs> he sighs. Look, look, look at this. Guys, he waddles. He waddles. Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I need to talk to him again. Well, here you are. This is my source. You wanted to see me. He was recently in a car accident. Damaged face and lungs. What do you know about General Labs? Why do you want to know what I know, huh? 
Agent Mothman said you contacted him about their operations. Their operations? Why? Agent Mothman? Oh boy. Zim shrugs a little. He's letting it go. Or drop. Good. I contacted Mothman because I had no choice. Why? Zim had to stop those humans. Zim, no one else would listen. Zim, I live on his street. I don't know. No one else would listen. He said you were anonymous. Do you know each other? When I said he was anonymous, I meant he doesn't want you to know who he is. I know who he is. How do you know about the white building? He means General Labs. I check out all the new construction in my town. There is something fishy about this place. Fishy? Her name is Agent Fish Sticks. Coincidence? They contacted me personally. They wanted me to pass out flyers. Why? Why? It's so incredibly obvious. They have to go through two, three, four test subjects a day. Him holding up, like, both of his hands because he only has three fingers on one hand. With the things they do. Human test subjects? What? Yes. You didn't know? You're lying. I am not lying. I know who's behind this. It's my uncle. The human in charge is your blood relative? He's done things. To animals. Her hands are trembling. Wow. I've never seen her show emotion before. Show compassion? She's a trained swollen eyeball operative. I don't need to hold her hand. That would be sort of demeaning. What did he do to animals? Sick things. He doesn't know I know. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I only care about how to destroy those operations. Have some respect, Zim. I want to say that, but also I can't, or I shouldn't, at least, because that'll be saying his name out loud. And we're trying to keep him anonymous. So I'm going to ignore him. This is all very entertaining, but I recommend you both get to your points, as I have business elsewhere, and Mothman's source is unpleasant. Fish sticks clears her throat. Five years ago, I was able to spy on my uncle doing experiments on a rabbit. He gave it a long course of injections before ripping away its pelt while it was still alive. I wonder if I should put a trigger warning before this. I probably will. The animal did not die after the removal of its skin. Its limbs were removed next. My uncle infected the animal with... Holy crap. Myxomatosis. Wow. It did not die. He did several more things to it. The animal did not die, even after the removal of its internal organs. It did not die until it was taken off my uncle's machine. Zim is breathing fast and swallowing a lot. So, he's trying to invent some kind of immortality? Hmm. He's got a building now, and helpers. Zim, how much staff was there? Did. I tried so hard to keep him anonymous. God dang it. I don't know. More than two. How many is more than two? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know my uncle well. Assume he's dangerous. Zim says he saw human test subjects. He didn't say much else. He's not that great a source. Agents, I recommend you work together on this case. Not possible. My parents are taking me to California in an hour. Well, then email me. Not secure enough. There are secure methods of. The humans in the white building are technological masters. Don't interrupt, Zim. They can thoroughly defeat any pathetic little attempts at security your children can muster. Did. You haven't been posting things about this on the internet. I shrug. Zim fiddles with bandages over his face. Oh. I need to be going. You've been very helpful. Mothman, come here a moment. Your source is free to go. Okay, my source better not go far. Yes, sir. When I was your age, I adopted an injured werewolf cub. I named him Leroy. We were great friends until Leroy reached adulthood and mauled an entire village. My point is, is that if you bring the spider into a swollen eyeball meeting, ex meeting space again, there will be consequences. Yes, sir. You are dismissed. How did you know there were humans? The test subjects, I mean. If they were just meat blobs. Smell. I knew by the scent. Okay. But you don't have a nose. He shakes his head slowly. I guess I don't want to know. Also, they're... He catches his breath. Their organs were human. Hmm? You'd know about organs. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Dark Harvest. Zim is pretty dumb, so maybe what he saw wasn't human. Still, it was clearly illegal. Does this really fall under the purview of the Swollen Eyeball Network? Maybe I should call the police. <laughs> the police suck. Hmm. I notice no gross aliens stalking me. Look, uh, it's time to go. I can't go any farther. Oh, sure you can, just... I can't walk any farther, Dib. I feel faint. Wait. Cutscene. <laughs> hmm. If you want me to be somewhere else, you're going to have to pick me up and carry me. <sighs> okay, just don't puke on me. <laughs> Wait a minute, did you use my real name in front of the agents? No. Oh, oh, okay, I thought you... No. Yes, you did, Zim. And you know what else? Dib used your name, too. You guys are both terrible at this whole being secretive thing. You're both terrible at your jobs. You're both terrible. Whatever. Let's get back to the hotel. I have to wash my hands. I have to wash my hands. Wash hands. Wash them again. Still not clean! I'll never be clean again! Okay, I guess Zim's not that gross. I barely had contact with him. His skin was totally covered by the disguise, but he's all alien-y. He's shedding the virus. I don't like him! He felt all shaky, sticky, squirmy, alive. I don't know what's so weird about that. I mean, of course he's alive. I've gotten way bigger than him. I could have just squished him, and then Earth would have been safe. But I didn't do that. I think he's having trouble breathing. Are you okay? Do nothing. Smother him. <laughs> you okay? Under the circumstances, that seems like a stupid question. I had to carry him three blocks. What am I going to do now? Agent Fishsticks didn't really give me any idea of how to stop these people. Help him. Don't. I don't think there's anything I can do. And he's my enemy. And I'm sure he'll be okay. He's trying to kill everybody. We're all better off if he suffocates in his own phlegm. I just, I don't know. I I have to get something to eat. I'm out of cash. I'll have to use my card. I'll get room service. Nothing bad will happen. I've picked up on activity on Dib's credit card. He's in Keystone City. Go. Greaves just stands there all day long waiting for Peter to decide things. Maybe I should just go to bed. Maybe give up and go to bed. I don't know what else you can actually do around here. I don't think there's anything else you can do. I got barely any sleep last night. What's that noise? It's Zim. He's really struggling to breathe. He said he could drown from his chest filling with secretions. I thought he was overreacting, but he sounds awful. I could debate whether or not it would be morally right to help someone who wants to destroy me, but it doesn't matter. I can't do anything for him anyway. I'll have to hope he pulls through on his own, I guess. Well, it's a new day, I guess. I want to save my game. Well, he's not dead. I think he might be showing signs of improvement, actually. His skin is cool, and his breathing is to be somewhat. Oh, jeez, he's been spitting mucus all over. Ah, yuck. Ah. He seems extremely lethargic, but that's not new. Hey. Uh. Hey. Can you let, do me the favor of letting me die alone? Yelling and complaining. He must be over the worst of it. You're okay. No, you haven't been paying attention at all. I don't think there's anything you can do with this. Okay. Go out. Zim. Mm. I'm going to, to the lobby to check the internet. I'll be right back, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Doop. Nothing new. I tried to email Gaz yesterday, and she hasn't responded. I really hope she's okay. I should get back to the room, I guess. Uh-oh. Dun-dun-dun! This is a footprint! And it's way too big to be Zim's. Okay, this is really bad, isn't it? Holy crap. Okay, that was a really long part. Alright. 
We're pausing here. I'll see you guys later. Peace.